Hey guys, Gossip and Reactions, Marie State. Couple has $520,000 in debt and wife had no idea we've been living a life maybe we shouldn't be living. Again, guys, you have to get involved in the finest around the house. What's going on? How much he's making, how much you are making. The car we are driving, the food that's been coming in, the bills have been paid on time. What is going on? Where do you get that money from? Both of us are working or only one? Is there one income, two incomes? You got to know something is not right. Now, this man is in $520,000 debt and his wife has no idea. Are you serious? You can't be blindsided. Everything is taken care of. The money has to come from somewhere. If you know he's making a 10 to $20 hourly wage and you're living in a luxury place, you're having a nice car, he's having a driving, uh, uh, he's having a nice car, you know something is off. It's not adding up. The math is not mathing like the people saying. So you need to question this man. Look, I know you're trying your best, but uh, where do you get that money from? You know, it's not uncommon for people to keep financial secret from their partners nearly one in four americans in relationship admit to keeping a money related secret from their significant order according to a 2023 bank rate survey a five hundred and twenty thousand dollar secret is a pretty big wonder <laughs> that's how much debt aldo was hidden from his wife cassandra the couple recently taught self-made millionaire ramit's says she on his i will teach you to be rich podcast the couple's last name were not used okay give them some some kind of privacy aldo and cassandra earn a healthy joint income of one hundred and sixty five thousand dollars a year plus aldo said he'll earn an additional one hundred and twenty seven thousand dollars in commission this year but the couple made a number of financial decisions that landed them in debt First, they have a $339,000 mortgage as well as around $14,000 in student loan. Then a number of planned purchases over the last couple years, including a home renovation and multiple vacations, ended up costing more than the couple's budgeted for. They covered the differences with credit cards in personal loans, bringing the total debt up to half of a million dollar, including over $163,000 on personal loans and credit card at the time of the podcast recording. Hmm. While Cassandra knew the family had a mortgage and at least some credit card debt, she didn't know the extent since she left Aldo handle all of the, of the finances. She didn't know how frequent credit cards were being used to pay for their lifestyle. Well, you get what you ask for. You want to live uh, beyond your means. You want to uh, keep it up with the Joneses. You want to show off. That's what happened. Prior to coming on Sethi's podcast, the couple said they watched his Netflix show, which led Cassandra to ask Aldo how much debt they have. When he wrote it all down, I almost fell off the chair. She said on the podcast, I didn't know everything was being charged on credit cards. Well, you should have asked. <laughs> Aldo wasn't necessarily trying to deceive Cassandra, but he told Seti he wanted to shield his wife from feeling stressed about their finance. Seti's take hard enough telling Cassandra about the debt or bringing her into the financial planning let the problem get worse and wanted up hurting Cassandra. That's why keeping money secrets from your partner can cause problems and set his advice for Aldo and Cassandra. Growing up, Aldo's family didn't have a lot of money and he learned at a young age not to ask for things because he saw how much fit finance stressed his parent out. He taught Seti and adulthood. He continued to believe that money is stressful and tried 
to handle it all on his own. Bad idea. As a child, he understood his family didn't have a lot. As a result, he tried to make sure he, Cassandra, and their children have a comfortable life. But if you cannot afford it, my brother, if you cannot afford it, you cannot create a lie, try to live on somebody else's money. You're going to pay twice or triple for what you're spending on those credit cards. While she didn't know about the debt, Cassandra takes responsibility for her part in yielding uh, all the financial decision making to Aldo. Uh, I sat back and let him deal with everything. Never would I have thought will be in this predicament, she said, but I felt hurt. I felt like we've been living a life maybe we shouldn't be living. Sometimes people lie about money in their relationship to hide an um, undesirable habit or a larger issue. But that's not the case for Aldo, Seti said. He was coming from a place of love and wanting to be a hero for his family, he added. In many relationships, the hero when it comes to money, is the person who says yes. Seti said, but in my view, the real hero is one who builds a partnership with their spouse to talk about money regularly and they truly include their spouse in decision making. $520,000 in debt is ridiculous, outrageous. The wife should have asked some question. Don't let it go that deep, that far. And I hope they can handle business and recover and try to make some kind of payment. Jesus Christ, this is just too much. $520,000, half of a million dollars. You're not making that. You're not a rich person. You're just a, a regular local John. But the thing is, people want to keep up with the Joneses. If the neighbor has a Ferrari, they want to have a Ferrari. If they have a Porsche, they want to have a Porsche. If they have a Maserati, they want to have one. If they upgraded their house, they want that. You cannot try to keep up with those people. You don't know what they've been doing. You don't know how deep their pockets are. So enough is enough. Live within your means. Stop doing too much to impress others, to impress your family. And at the end of the day, you cannot afford to do it. Subscribe. Let me know how you feel. Thank you. Bye.